Aaron White here with White Stock and Produce. Uh, today I thought I'd talk a little bit about uh, watering your cattle uh, within a mob grazing. I kind of showed some ideas with uh, logistics of uh, mob grazing, an idea. It's like a wagon wheel. Um, kind of like how I'm doing out here in this pasture. Um, kind of moved my cows here the other day, so um, they're kind of up on the hill, if you can see them. Uh, there's one right there. She just got done drinking, but the other ones are a little further up there. Um, and uh, I just thought I'd talk to you a little bit about the watering situation. So we take a look at this. I kind of funnel them. I don't know if you see that post right there. I funnel them between, oh, there's that, that post, these two posts into this area. Now, it may look like a mess right here, but believe it or not, the reason why I funnel them into this spot is because where this is eroding at right here was actually 10 times worse than this about, oh, two years ago. And uh, when I first started mob grazing, I really started focusing on funneling them into this area. And, and believe it or not, it's actually helping. Okay, now I know this looks like a little mess. It's kind of where they hang out. Um, you know, they're really only here. We just got a rain last night. So they're really only in this area for a day. Uh, you know, 24 hours if you want to uh, give it that. Because I have two paddocks within this. I got one here further up. So they were here last night, and then, or yesterday, and then um, up at the top uh, tonight, and then tomorrow I'll move them from here, and then kind of go over the hill here, and then they'll ju just get their water over there. But they're really helping the erosion out. Other than this little spot right here where they're kind of hanging out, um, this is something where I'm going to try and focus on you know, preventing this type of deal. You know, this is where the greatest erosion that I'll get, um, plus their patties here right next to the water, it's gonna lead to a lot more nitrogen in the water itself. But, you know, if we take a look at this, I know this is uh, a sight for sore eyes. You know, it's just something that, that we don't like to see on our land. Um, but this is actually, like I said, 10 times better than it was two years ago. And it's simply because I do not allow the cows to come here and continuously come down into this spot. They, they, they come down, they get their drink for 24 hours, and then they move. Now what you're seeing, especially right here, when it erodes, the clumps of grass fall down with it. Thus, the grass start to grow here. Now that will kind of taper off eventually as, as we keep going with this they'll taper off and then the grass will kind of just even it out. So then it'll just be a steady decline down to the water. Okay, so this is actually a good thing. Um, I wish I would have, you know, started my photo uh, journal before I actually started doing this to kind of give you an idea of how to control certain areas like this, especially by your, uh, by your water. Um, I see a lot of farmers, um, they have their cows uh, continuously grazing, and so they're continuously have access to the pond. Um, something that I'm going to try to eliminate next year uh, is where this post is here. Okay, I'm actually going to shorten that down. I'm going to come in a little bit, a little bit more, and cut across so they can't really hang out in the water. All right, when they hang out in the water, that's adds to a lot more. Uh, uh, the you know pooping and, and pissing in the water and you get you know a lot more um, nitrogen in the water and and you essentially get a pond that looks like that so that's something that I want to eliminate kind of cut back I could, for goodness sakes I could even cut it back to here and just jet across right here so all they all they can drink is just right out of this little spot here so it's something that I'm thinking about trying next year, um, just to, you know, funnel them down this uh, terrain to kind of get them to push down the soil, okay, compact it. That's the idea is to compact it down and then go from there. Now, if we look over to this side to the right, we can see that it's, it's really starting to work over here. It's looking a little bit better, although 
I should probably put some grass seed down, which I probably will here uh, tomorrow. But put some grass seed down here, kind of uh, tamp it in. But it's working really well right here. This is where the worst spot was. Um, but now I'm starting to see when I funnel, funnel them into this area, they're continually going down this one spot, which is helping this. But the more steeper stuff, like in this area, they're not really climbing down and pushing that down. So um, erosion, this is the number one thing that, you know, I'd say farmers, you know, have to, you know, admit is a problem on their farm. And so this is something that I'm trying. I'm funneling the cattle straight down into this little area so that they have to walk through this and kind of trample it down. Now I might get a little creative and start funneling them into one area to really compact it down so that they're we're able to prevent this type of of uh, erosion that's going on on this farm you know and it doesn't help with uh, this this steep hill here because all that water runs right down that hill and then right on into the the pond here so um, you know you got to try and find a way to prevent that and and so this is what I'm trying to do and and if you could have saw this like I said about two years ago three years ago when I started farming it was just horrible but you like to see this grass coming up right here all right all in this area that that's what's going to try and help hold in that soil as we start to uh, kind of compact it down trample it down but anyway just an idea on erosion control around ponds um, I've seen this this work in the, in some areas um, so I'm giving it a go and and so far it's looking a lot better you know right now just giving an idea here this is probably about a, a foot from where the grass is up here to where it starts to slope down here so it's like a uh, about a foot drop you know this was about three feet straight drop down and, and in a matter of two years funneling them through this area they've able to you know get it down to a foot along with the erosion kind of pushing it the grass comes down with it we're starting to get some growth in here that's what we want all right this growth will will kind of help out with holding the soil in um, it's not something it would look more like this over here so it's just sight for sore eyes like I said I, I've been trying to work on this one spot for a while now and uh, I, I'm seeing progress but now I'm starting to see half of it working and the other half being neglected so it's something that I'm going to try and funnel the cattle now to the side that they're not doing um, kind of walking over and really focus in on them walking over that and kind of compacting it down and kind of pushing and creating that that uh, uh, little grade um, that's continuous with the hill so just an idea um, for you um, on your farm if you have a farm pond to kind of help prevent the erosion from from really washing away that soil and creating these these steep little gullies so anyway until next time happy farming